Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. If you find that you have difficulty expressing anger, then continue watching the video. I'm gonna share with you a step-by-step -step therapeutic art activity that'll help you channel all of your anger out onto paper through the creative process and help you give you a deeper understanding of why you're feeling anger as well. So I've been feeling a lot of anger the past couple weeks over the news about the Asian hate crimes happening across North America. And I felt angry at myself, I felt angry at the world, I felt angry at humanity, and it was just this overwhelming feeling of anger. And I think for me, the default for me when I feel anger is to just push it down to avoid and turn my back on it and not fully allow myself to feel it. I think I was taught that anger is a bad emotion and so when it does arise in me, I don't allow myself to externalize it. Of course, there are people out there that externalize their anger and have a big blowout and that's when it can actually be harmful as well because it's explosive and it can actually hurt and harm people. So for me, I'm trying to find a balance between learning how to feel it and externalize it in a safe manner where I'm allowing myself to go through the emotions of anger so that it releases out of me. And of course, I know art is always a way to help me do that. So I created this therapeutic art exercise as a way for you to channel all of your anger out through the creative process and to give you an opportunity to tune in to the secondary emotion of what you may be feeling beneath the anger. Because what I've been realizing the past couple days when I've really allowed myself to sit and feel anger is that there's so many other emotions that come with it. Especially here in the news of the hate crimes, there's not only anger, but there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of sadness, there's a lot of loneliness, there's a lot of anxiety. And I didn't really realize that I was feeling all those things underneath the anger. And the interesting thing is, is that anger is a prominent emotion that I feel. So this therapeutic art exercise is going to help you tap into that and help you express all that you're feeling through anger. You're going to need a piece of paper, a pencil, and any sort of coloring materials like pencil crayons, felt markers, or paints. Before you begin, create space in your home for art making. Light a candle or incense. Start to tune in to the presence in your body. Take one long inhale and one slow exhale. Place your hands on the paper and say out loud or silently in your heart, I accept all my emotions. I allow all my emotions to come through. I feel them and I let them go. The anger iceberg was a term first coined by the Gottman Institute. It represents the idea that although our anger is expressed outwardly, other emotions may be hidden beneath the surface just like an iceberg in water. This shows us that our anger is really a mask to hide our more vulnerable and delicate emotions. Create your anger iceberg and ask yourself, what is underneath the anger? What do I feel afraid of? What is making me feel vulnerable? Draw an iceberg and illustrate the top of it with your emotion of anger. Use colors, lines, and shapes to represent that feeling. Let your anger come out onto the paper. Let your paper hold it for you and don't hold back. Below the surface of your iceberg, write down all the feelings your anger may be protecting. Maybe it's grief, sadness, rejection, confusion, or embarrassment. Just write it down. Add colors, lines, and shapes to convey your hidden feelings. Remember to keep breathing throughout the process and remember to let yourself feel it.
So this is the drawing that I end up doing and it was so great for me just to tune into that feeling of anger and to allow myself to actually come up into the surface so that I can externalize it out on paper. I realized that anger for me is very explosive. It's very sharp and spiky and uncomfortable. It's not a fun place to be. And if I actually allowed it to come out, I know that can be very harmful to the people that I love. And so that's why I drew a bunch of spikes and all these crazy hard marks around it. And I really want you to pay attention to how your pen is moving while you're expressing the anger. Because for me, it was very hard and scratchy and a very up and down movement. And it's it was really interesting to tune into that because anger for me is definitely very fire-like. And in the middle of my anger, I put a black spot because it just made me feel very lonely and that kind of represented the black hollow part of anger. So underneath the words that came out for me when I was thinking about what was beneath my anger was sadness, fear, rejection, loneliness, and depression. And writing these things out and giving myself time to just process and acknowledge that that beneath my anger is actually me trying to protect myself was an insight for me. And I know that the next time I feel angry, I'm not going to be so afraid to express it because now I know I'm just trying to hide all these other deeper inner feelings. You know, it brought back so many memories of when I've been angry before. Like, for example, it brought back memories of me being angry when I was in a intimate relationship and, you know, maybe it was jealousy or something, but really it was just me having the fear of rejection and me having the fear of loneliness. and But for some reason, I just use anger as a way to protect myself. And so I really hope that you try this exercise and give yourself the time to process what you're feeling, especially what's happening in the world right now. I know it's been very hard for me, and if it's been hard for you, know that you're not alone. And art can give us a way to help us express that. So if you do decide to try it and you want to share with me the process, I would love to see it. You can always tag me on Instagram or send me an email. And if you are interested in working further into the therapeutic art process, I do offer one-on-one -on -one sessions online and I can help you dig deeper into your creativity, help you open up into a deeper part of yourself that maybe you've never known before and tap into a side of you that that is wanting to come out so if you are interested please do not hesitate to reach out if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it will help me out so much and in the meantime i want to send you all love and some peace and deep breaths and i will see you all next week